We'll start with the Mustard R30 size 12 dry fly hook. We've got some ultra thread fluorescent green. I'll just put this on here and this is the hot butt caddis. Another quick and simple pattern. We'll go back to there. Get rid of that. Back a wee ways more. And we need some glow bright. I'm using number four, which is a fluorescent orange. Take five or six strands. Put this up on the hook like that. And we'll just tighten that in. Right at the back. There we go. And we go forward. Over the floss. Got the full body length. And I'll lift that up. And I'll remove that. Just go over the ends. We'll go back to there. And we need a piece of medium copper wire. Pull that through. Do us just fine. We'll go back with that. Want to go back all the way to the hot butt base. There we are. And then we can go back up again. Hang that out of the way and go back up again and just build up a slight taper on the body that gets thicker towards the thorax. And all the way up. That'll do us there. Very good. And we can take our tail, hot butt. I like to keep this relatively short, just like that, nothing more. I've got a golden badger hackle. Work my way back a wee ways. I'm going to tie the golden badger hackle in there, like so. Just lift the end of it. Trim that off. Let's fasten it down. There we are. Hackle plier. Now I've chosen this uh, badger hackle in a little bit shorter size, smaller size than for size 12 hook. Let me just go back. Open spiral, Palmer Hackle, and end it there. We take our copper wire. Catch the hackle in, remove the hackle plier, and then we can go forward, even open turns, securing the hackle as we go. Try not to catch too much hackle fibres down as you go. It's inevitable that you'll catch a few. Try and make it as little as possible. There we are, and we'll end up there. Then we can just lock that off. Keep pressure on your T 
tie-in thread on your bobbin and we'll just break that off with friction and we can come up here and use my serrated scissors so I get a good grip on that ankle there we are that's the body done then we need some bleached elk when you're buying elk look for stuff like this that's nice and straight good good unbroken points with a nice taper on them uh, you can see here this is just not uh, this is just not good enough uh, so look through the packets when you're buying them and choose the one that's best for you so Taken a little bunch of the elk, it's got nice mark tips this, cleaned it, thought I had anyway, just like that, back the same length as the body and then we'll go once, twice around, tighten up, tighten up again, keep tightening up as you go and then we go through just a few of the fibres, this will keep everything in place and we'll pull everything up lock it off and whip finish get all the hair out of the way like so we'll remove the thread now the advantage of having long hair at the front is that you can pull it all forward without taking any of the wing with you or it makes it much easier to separate worry about that one just pull that all forward and I'll take my razor blade holder and we'll make a nice neat cut at the front and that's it that's the hot butt caddis uh, very good pattern extremely good attractor pattern stripped through the surface if you enjoy the videos please like share subscribe And thanks for watching.